Hello and greetings to everyone who abide in the shadow of the Almighty through His perfect Son, King Yeshua HaMashiach. Hope everyone had a great and blessed day in King Yeshua. For He certainly makes everything wonderful no matter what we're going through. He makes everything okay. He gives us comfort and peace in our storms and in our valleys. Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. And in the first verse of that psalm, it says, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He supplies our every wants and our every needs. We serve a living God, a perfect God, a risen Savior, a mighty and true God. We serve a righteous and holy God. Amen. Let us praise our wonderful and mighty God. Our holy, glorious Papa Yahweh. And our holy, glorious King Yeshua HaMashiach. And our holy, glorious Holy Spirit, the power from on high. come to you. I bow down my face to you upon my knees and I praise the God of glory, the God of heaven, the God of earth, the God of the universe, the master of all masters, the king of all kings, the Father of glory, the Father of peace, the Father of righteousness. You are all things to me, Father, that are good. And I pray that you purge out sin, unholy things, ungodly things that may be in my mind or my heart or that I'm doing. I pray that you purge anything out of me that you do not like. For John says, or your gospel John says, that you are the husbandman and King Yeshua is the vine and we are the branches. And the husbandman prunes the branches so we may produce more fruit. Father, please let me produce more fruit for your kingdom. Please search my heart. Try the reins of my heart, Father. May it be pleasing in your sight, for I want to please my God, Jehovah. I live for you. I live for only you. My glorious God on high, the highest of the high. I lift your name to the highest of the high. And I exalt you to the highest of the high. And I will praise your name forevermore. Your name is beautiful. Your name is mighty and powerful. Your name is as an ointment poured forth. Your name is beautiful. 
and you have set your your son's name the name above all names for every knee shall bow and confess that Jesus is Lord and Savior and you have set your perfect son over all all of the enemy over everything he conquered Satan and he has the keys to death and hell your precious son who lives in me who lives in his saints through the Holy Spirit and Father you are right here you live in me as well in all your saints for your word says you and your son are one and that no one can pluck us from your son's hand or your hand father you are righteous and true and holy and father as hard as this message is to put out I trust you father I trust your precious son and your Holy Spirit with everything in me I trust you with every cell within me I trust you and I have faith in you for your precious son I look unto King Yeshua who is the author and finisher of my faith and father your word says that nothing will be hidden that is not revealed and nothing is hidden from you God nothing can be hidden from you for you are God Almighty whatever is done in the dark and in secret is not hidden from you you are amazing and you are so loving and you are so true and I love you so much and I will say what you want me to say and I will do what you want me to do and I will go where you want me to go and if God be for me who can be against me nobody the Lord is my helper of whom shall I fear I fear you God Jehovah Almighty I fear my God and I want to please you and do your perfect will I love you so much I praise I praise I praise I praise your holy and mighty name thank you father for exposing things to your saints please give them spiritual <coughs> eyes and spiritual ears to hear what God is saying what the Spirit is saying and please help Coco's trachea heal I love you so much thank you for your love and for your faithfulness to all of your creation in King Yeshua's holy and mighty and perfect name Amen and Amen okay now 
this is a very hard video to put out. Um, it's even harder than the other one from the other night. But uh, our Lord is faithful and true. And our Lord says in his word that he will expose things that are hidden that men think they have deceived even God but no one can deceive God for God sees everything there is nothing that escapes his eye and there are verses in the Bible that says something akin to that but I can't quote any of them right now I do know one that says um, that uh, God loves us with an everlasting love and he guides us with his eye. How wonderful and amazing is our trustworthy God. For I put all of my trust into him. I trust him with everything in me. I love my God with all my heart, soul, mind and strength and even more than that whatever whatever that is immeasurable he has given each and every one of us an eternal soul I love him with my eternal soul and uh, I'm thinking of some scripture here that I want to say. Oops, sorry about that. It's in Ephesians. So let me get to it. Um, okay, it's in Ephesians. Chapter 1 and let's start with 17 that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling, and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to usward, who believe, according to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead, and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world but also in that which is to come and have put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church which is his body the fullness of him that filleth all in all. That's what I wanted to read to you because there's no higher name than King Yeshua. There's no one higher than him. Praise be to his wonderful and mighty name. Praise be to our King who gives us the authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions in his mighty name praise be to our wonderful and mighty God King Yeshua HaMashiach Savior God and King and he gave me a vision earlier and in this vision 
It was a quick vision, but it showed him just his face and all of a sudden I saw a ladder going up I guess from mid forehead and, and on up a, a ladder <laughs> that was like what could that possibly mean and of course he knows my thoughts so um, he said it is the people who are trying to go to the Father without going through him and these people and uh, I saw many of them after that many ladders many ladders going across King Yeshua's forehead and I don't mean to laugh because this is very serious um, and they they couldn't go but so far because the door wouldn't open to them King Yeshua is the only door and he would take them and toss them into his refining fires his burning fires King Yeshua is the only way life and truth and no one goes to the Father except by him so that was a very interesting vision that he gave me and at first I couldn't figure out what it meant but when God gives you a vision he also gives you the interpretation of that vision um, and he also wants me to say that if you are a transgender or if you are thinking about even becoming a transgender changing your gender that God created you um, changing it from what God created you to be fall on your knees to him we have all sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God but we must all confess our sins and just come to him because he has his arms open and don't feel like if you have already had whatever is done uh, surgery or whatever that you cannot go back or that you cannot go to King Yeshua and be saved yes you can there is no sin that one can do that King Yeshua cannot forgive you for and drop to your knees drop to your face ask for forgiveness be in complete repentance and he is faithful and just to forgive you and if you have not done what you might be thinking about doing I urge you to read God's Word I urge you to read it it tells you what God desires of us and it tells you that you must repent and turn away from your sins and King Yeshua is faithful and just to forgive us our sins when we are completely sorry and in complete repentance to him and if you do not know 
King Yeshua as your personal Savior. And I say personal because He is personal. He is very intimate with His children because He has a relationship with each one of His saints. Go to Romans chapter 10 verses 9 and read 10 also. And God Almighty tells you what to do to be saved. First you come to Him in complete repentance and you confess His name with your mouth and believe in thine heart that King Yeshua was raised from the dead by God Almighty, God the Father, and thou shalt be saved. But he wants me to specifically say that if you are a transgender or thinking about being one, he has his arms wide open for you. He is a savior that can save any body but there is no name except his that can save and no one can go to the father except by him you can try climbing up any other way but it's not going to get you to the father as that vision clearly said You can try climbing up that ladder, but you will not get to the Father unless you go through King Yeshua HaMashiach. He is the way, life, and truth. He is the door, the only door. And He loves you with all of God's heart. He loves you. And who knows how big God's heart is? It's immeasurable. Bigger than the universe, bigger than his creation. It's big. God is big. God is pure love. And don't listen to fables and philosophies and doctrines of men. Get into the word for yourself. Read it. For yourself don't rely on man to tell you about God read his word he tells you himself about him and he tells you how he expects us to live by King Yeshua HaMashiach when we live in him he is our Savior and he saved us to the uttermost and we are born again when we invite King Yeshua into our heart. And no one, no one, no enemy, no one can pluck us from his hand. Once he saves us, we belong to him eternally. Amen. Hallelujah to our risen Savior. Hallelujah to his love. Hallelujah. He is so perfect and wonderful in every way. And now on to a next vision that he gave me. And this one, well, you already saw the title of the video. Um, and you might have already read the transcript. But, um, In the vision, I saw um, in the vision, I saw Michelle Obama with she looked like a demon, red, just all red looked like a demon and on the forehead 
it said Satan's accomplice. So that's the vision I had, I received. Um, and this all uh, part of the, the hard message that I'm about to read from Father and take it to directly to Father Yahweh by the power of the Holy Spirit and in King Yeshua's mighty and holy name take it to him and ask him if I received a message directly from him <clears throat> Okay, now I'll go to the message. Toko, sit down. Sometimes you gotta direct his attention from what? When he's coughing. Sometimes it works and sometimes it don't. Alrighty. And again, I put it on the message here. Please take this message directly to Father Yahweh by the power of the Holy Spirit and in King Yeshua's mighty name and ask him if I received this message directly from him, God, the mighty Father of all creation. This is an extra word he gave me today. From the Father of eternal glory, hear me my saints of the Most High. Today you have peace in the U.S., but what shall it be in the days to come? Treachery and all deceivableness from Barack Obama. He is that wicked one, my beautiful saints, turning my creation into going after strange gods, little g. I, God, Yahweh, Jehovah, Elohim, sees all. Who are you going to put your trust into? The government or God? Even if they threaten you with taking your life. My son Yeshua protects his own. You know my word states many souls underneath my altar. Precious are they who give up their lives for my beloved son's name's sake. Get ready, get prepared, stay planted upon your knees, my saints. All wickedness is abounding. I am in control of Obama and his unrighteous and unholy ways, for he answers to his father, the devil. But my holy children, who believe in my most beautiful Son, answer to me, the Father of glory and love everlasting. Father Yahweh has spoken. I'm going to read to you the scripture for that message. Second Thessalonians 2, 8-12 And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they received not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Hebrews 4.13 Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and opened unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. Romans 14.8 If we live, we live to the Lord. And if we die, we die to the Lord. So whether we live or die, 
we belong to the Lord. Revelation 6, 9-11 oh, Excuse me. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar, whoops, that was a double copy, I guess. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them, that they should rest yet for a little season, until their fellow servants also, and their brethren, that should be killed as they were, should be fulfilled. Ephesians 3.14 For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Isaiah 45.6-7 That they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west, that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. John eight forty four to 45 Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a liar, and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. Ephesians 4, 6 One God, and Father of all, who is above all, and through all, and in you all. Ephesians 1, 17 That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and here is Father's message for today, 24 May 2016. Please take this message directly to Father Yahweh by the power of the Holy Spirit and in King Yeshua's mighty name, and ask him if I receive this message directly from him, God the mighty Father of all creation. Second Peter one nineteen. <clears throat> we have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto Ye do well that ye take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. I received this message from Father God Yahweh at 9.28 p.m. on 24 May 2016. My beloved daughter of mine, Write these words that you receive directly from my Son in my holy and righteous throne room. Write, my beautiful one. Papa has revealed much through my faithful servants, who will deliver what messages I give to them. For if they do not deliver my messages, they will have blood upon their hands. When you mock and scoff those who are doing my good works, you are assaulting me and my glory. Father will tell you about the biggest lie in the presidency. For Father will expose all things that they think are in secret. I have given this messenger, my faithful daughter Wendy, and many of my other faithful ones, dreams of Michelle Obama. The dream I gave my daughter, she was in the stairwell with Michelle, and suddenly Michelle was gone, and there was a man for a brief moment. My daughter barely has memory of this, however, she has now been quickened to it, for it was to be revealed at this appointed time, not when she was given the dream. 
Michelle is not as she was born to be, for my creation turned himself into an unnatural child, changing the very gender that I created him to be. In my word, it states that the lawless one will not be attracted to women, as many of you have wondered how Obama can be the Antichrist since he is married and has children. This is how, because Obama follows after his father, the devil. Therefore, Obama is the great deceiver. Father says that if anyone has changed what I have created them to be, to be in complete and full repentance to my son Yeshua, and he will be faithful and just to forgive you. Do not think that you can never come to my son. He will never turn anyone aside. Come directly to my throne, my lovely saints, and Father will confirm this most difficult message for my daughter to put out. I will expose all lies and deceptions. Father will ensure that my flock knows what the enemy has done in secret. I, Yahweh, God Almighty, has spoken this to my messenger Wendy. Take heed on how deceiving the enemy is and will continue to be. Okay. Here is a scripture for Father's message. Ezekiel 3.18 When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Luke 8.17 For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Psalm 119.88 Quicken me after thy loving kindness, so shall I keep the testimony of thy mouth. Romans 1, 25-28 Who changed the truth of God into a lie, and worshipped and served the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind, to do those things which are not convenient. Daniel eleven thirty six to 37 And the king shall do according to his will, and he shall exalt himself, and magnify himself above every god, little g, and shall speak marvelous things against the god of gods, and shall prosper till the indignation be accomplished. For that that is determined shall be done. Neither shall he regard the God of his fathers, nor the desire of women, nor regard any God, little g, for he shall magnify himself above all. Matthew 4.17 From that time Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. 1 John 1.9 If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. John 6.37 All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. I think that's all. Yeah, just wanted to be sure. Okay, so that's father's message and um, let me give you the Lord's blessing
This is the blessing for all of God's children. This is Numbers chapter 6, verses 22 to 27. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and unto his sons, saying, On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. Everyone who's watching this video, please know that God is pure love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. Father sent his Son, King Yeshua, who made himself a little lower than the angels, to come down here and live a life as an example to us to follow, filled with suffering. Every time King Yeshua reproved the world, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the high priests, the, the scribes, the lawyers, they wanted to kill him. But of course, they couldn't touch him until it was the appointed time. And then King Yeshua had to allow it. The Father had to allow it. But King Yeshua walked in complete obedience. He said he did not come down for his will, but for the Father's will. And he was obedient unto the cross. And he's always obedient. He always has been and always will be obedient to the Father. He glorifies the Father. Always. He glorified the Father throughout his walk here on earth. God dwelt amongst men. That's how much God loves us. God died for our sins willingly. He suffered a horrible death. And he willingly died for us. He who knew no sin took upon our sin and crucified it at the cross. He took upon our shame and our humiliation and our sicknesses. And he fulfilled the law. He completed it all when he died at the cross and the Father rose again, rose him again on the third day. Amen and hallelujah. That's how much our God loves us and even so much more than that that we can never imagine. King Yeshua is so gentle and kind and loving and he has his arms open to all to whosoever will come to him and confess him with their mouth and believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved amen father I pray by the power of your Holy Spirit and in your precious Son's mighty, conquering name that you have led whoever you needed to to this video and that they will bow their knees to King Yeshua and accept him as Lord and Savior of their lives and come to him in complete repentance and love him be so much in love with King Yeshua I 
pray that not many people will be left behind. I pray that not many people will be deceived by the government, by the Antichrist, by the false prophet, who is indeed alive and deceiving already, as you have told us. I pray that not many people will take the dreaded mark of the beast. And I pray for the comfort and the peace of all those who will lose family members in the sudden destruction. I pray for mercy and compassion, Father, upon this world. I pray for the peace of Jerusalem and Israel and for your protection over it and for you to bless it for that is your holy land they are your holy people your peculiar people the Jewish people how I love them because my Savior is Jewish and beautiful and mighty and true and the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and King Yeshua's mighty and worthy and conquering name Baruch Hashem Adonai blessed be the name of the Lord Amen and Shalom